Good morning. See, Dan, it's not actually that hard. Uh, some of you might be forgiven for thinking, fuck me, Dan's finally managed to get himself a, a decent tan, but, but no, I'm not your um, usual host. Uh, I am a Dan, but, but not that one. I'm Dan Maynard. Some of you may know me as the guy who intends to end Julia Donaldson's career with my rhythmic children's books, but, but that's for another day. Um, the reason why I'm in front of you today and not your usual host, um, he's asked me to share something with you that I sent him um, as part of his new Feedback Friday special where he brings his audience members onto his stage. It's kind of like his online version of Jeremy Kyle, um, but with less incest hopefully, uh, and with a bit more of a positive vibe. Uh, you might see me glance mm -hmm. off camera uh, now and again to check my cheat sheet um, because I'm not quite the seasoned professional that uh, Dan is. Plus, due to my partly Caribbean um, heritage, me is known to talk fast at times, so I might not always know what, 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 what we see. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try uh, and, 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 and be as clear as I can. So... So, as Dan explained, um, we got to know each other through a mutual friend of ours, uh, who is also called Dan. Uh, it's quite easy to remember the names in our social circle. Um, anyway, we've, we've been out a few nights together, um, we shared our friend's wedding day together. I've always got a good vibe from Dan, and it's always been a good laugh whenever he's been around. Um, so when I um, saw this YouTube channel pop up with him wearing a purple wig, uh, I immediately thought, well, this won't be the worst eight minutes I've ever spent. So after watching the first few videos, um, I sent down a message just to say he might be surprised by who's watching. Because um, I don't think he would have for one minute thought I would have been watching. Um, and just to say, essentially, I was impressed uh, and to keep up the good work. To be honest, a lot of what Dan says in his videos resonates with me. Um, and he talks a lot, a good chat. Um, I can honestly say listening to Dan has improved my day with some of the tips that he's given over the last however many weeks. I mean, the guy's even got me meditating for five minutes every night before I before I read my book on meditation, uh, before having a good night's sleep and, and waking up and early and getting myself in my, my home gym. Uh, I mean, to be fair, the latter I was doing before, but, but Dan's with me now uh, every morning for at least eight to ten minutes in there as well. So anyway, that's the that's the the backstory, the particular episode that uh, I messaged Dan about was um, good news being disguised as bad. So just before the lockdown uh, was enforced, my wife, Victoria, uh, was getting really mm -hmm. hot and sweaty um, one Thursday night in bed and, and not in a good way. Uh, unfortunately, it ain't that sort of story for me. Um, she had a fever, uh, which we've subsequently put down to paranoia brought about about all the media attention it was getting at the time. But the Friday morning came uh, and with government guidelines, we were having to inform our employees. Um, and due to me marrying this woman, I was now in isolation with her and my two children, aged two and four, um, and one and three actually at the time. Um, I know, right, shit was about to get real. Um, anyway, I rang my boss. Um, he's just said he was cool, got to do what's got to be done. Uh, and he, he, he He's welcoming me back as soon as I can get back, whether that was seven or 14 days, because I had not shown any symptoms. Um, neither of us expected it to be sort of eight weeks before I was back at work. Whilst I was sat in the kitchen, sending out emails to clients and, and doing various things, uh, my wife comes into the room. Um, she's in tears. Um, after sending her boss a message telling her that she was displaying symptoms, they replied with their own message um, that basically said they were making her redundant only her, um, and even later that day, when the government announced the furlough scheme, um, we pleaded to their good nature, uh, or tried to at least. Um, I know because I drafted the email, I wasn't gonna let my wife go down without a fight. Um, she didn't want to do this because deep down she knew the CUNTs they really were. Uh, and sure enough, they replied with no, um, basically, fuck off. Uh, we're not prepared to help you and your family in these difficult times, even with the free government money um, that they're providing to prevent this kind of thing. So um, when only a few weeks ago, the message was be kind, um, but clearly, but clearly they didn't get the memo. So my wife was gutted. She didn't actually like working for these piss poorly managed 
incestual company where they're all related by marriage or through a split condom but but that wasn't the point um we were worried like many others were at the time uh, but i held my wife i hugged her tightly and i said i said we're going to be fine we'll get through this uh, as long as we have our team maynard um and for whatever reason i knew this to be true uh, like dan says it's it's how you react to a situation that will determine whether it has a positive or a negative impact in your life uh, we were going to make the most of this extra time together um, as a family. My daughter starts school in September um, and it was me, a chance for me to spend more time with my son who up until this point definitely preferred my wife um, but to be fair to him I was only just warming to him after two years of, of broken sleep but we had a chance now to, to, to find out a bit more about each other. Anyway. A week or so went by and my wife was told um, about a friend of a friend that she kind of knew um, from her old school days. She was looking to recruit a virtual assistant for her company, which basically then pimped her out to people who needed their shit sorted, in, life organised, etc. So Vic sent her CV and I think partly because she knew of my wife's career um, that she's had rocking the housing market, like myself, um, she gave her a chance to do some work for her the following day and as daddy daycare was available now 24 7 um she could start immediately so she started doing some real mundane crap like um deleting people off facebook groups for people who clearly had more money than um time to be doing it themselves i mean you think there was a mass delete button but but apparently not anyway we thought it's better than nothing uh it keeps her safe at home uh, and i had this extra time with my my children um which I taught my daughter, who's three foot three, dot Darcy, um, how to ride a bike without stabilizers. And if it wasn't for this time in lockdown, I don't think it had been another year or two. I mean, we managed to do it before her fourth birthday. Uh, and I wouldn't have realized that my little rock star could do such a thing if we didn't have this time. So since this interview, um, She's landed some really good clients who have given her a lot more interesting work to do um, and things that she's really learning new skills from. Uh, one particular client, after only a week of her working for her, uh, with my wife's serious attention to detail and the ability to find, create jobs that aren't there, um, basically organising her life and, 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 and not missing a trick. I mean, essentially all the things for the last 10 years that has been together, I've become a little bit bored of but this woman loves it um anyway she's literally made this woman's life so a lot more less stressful uh, by organizing her life with efficiency uh, and as well as helping ease the financial burden on our current situation this new role has meant that my wife is no longer anxious on a sunday evening uh, she's not coming home stressed after a day spent with incompetence having missed her loving husband and and beautiful children my wife is at home with our kids is not having to rush out in the mornings um, has meant that selfishly I can I can work out easier in the mornings and I can I can sit and, and not rush having breakfast with my children. My wife wife takes Denzel um, our dog out for a walk. I then leave with plenty of time for work, um, knowing my family is safe at home. My wife is happier, my children are happier, and I'm happier because my wife was was essentially made redundant. Um, furthermore, uh, this week. I get a call. Bear in mind, I'm in uh, a house putting it on the market and my phone vibrates in my pocket whilst I'm in this client's, coincidentally, in their bathroom. Um, it's my wife. She's crying. Um, I ask her what's the matter. And she tells me that the owner of this PA company and her partner have invested in a stately home uh, and he's recently renovating it or in the process of finishing renovating it. And um, they've asked whether she would consider being the uh, wedding and events coordinator. Uh, the reason why my wife was crying is because this is her dream job. Um, I know from our own wedding and being a small part of that, um, she was she was amazing at it. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't share in my wife's excitement. As I mentioned, I was in some bloke's bathroom, um, and when you lock the door and start talking to yourself, they don't they don't really like that. Uh, so I rushed home um, after that appointment to get the full story. My wife was buzzing. Um, I was I was just full of pride for her. Um, in a moment of madness, I I even uh, I think I even agreed to 
giving her that third child that she she desperately wants on the proviso that this new venture um, brings in enough income to support this uh, new addition. Uh, the problem now is I'm, I'm kind of 50 50 on when, on whether I want to support my wife's um, dream job. Um, but deep down, I know I'm, I know I'm fucked because uh, given the chance, she's going to smash it. So as Mr. McAdam said, and I completely agree, sometimes good news comes disguised as bad. Until next time, keep up the good work, Dan. Ciao for now, bro.